Uh, I would like to come back to this uh, rule too. If you have a dominant strategy, play it. And especially this time round, I would like to underline why it is not so easy to uh, follow this strategy. On this slide, we have a picture of the uh, prisoner's di dilemma. And uh, the story which is behind this prisoner's dilemma is that Pekka and Lisa commit a crime and they are caught by the police and the police take them into separate rooms and give them an offer. Uh, if you uh, talk, you get away for free. And if you uh, keep your mouth shut, you will either get one year uh, if also the other person keeps his mouth shut, or three years, uh, or five years if the other person talks. So you can see this uh, offer being put out onto the uh, slide. And you can start thinking, what should you do? And you would probably uh, try to think that, yes, you will keep your mouth shut and hope that uh, the other person would also keep his or her mouth shut. But then you begin to worry that, what if? Now, if you put them on the matrix, you should be rational. And uh, according to rule two, follow your dominant strategy and play it if a dominant strategy exists. Now remember how you solve this, these uh, matrices. If you are Pekka uh, on the left, for example, you should think that, uh, OK, what if uh, Lisa keeps her mouth shut? Do I take uh, minus one, one year in prison, or the uh, zero for talking? And then you underline the zero. And the, you can see that the zero has been underlined in black. Uh, what if Lisa talks? What is better for you? Five years in prison or three years in prison? And three years in prison, of course, is better from the two. And you underline the, the, the uh, minus three. And you notice that uh, in both cases, in other words, independent of whether Lisa keeps her mouth shut or talks, your best strategy is to talk. And hence, rule number two says, use your clear dominant strategy, talk. Uh, you might want to go through the uh, steps of uh, what Lisa should be doing. And of course, Lisa would think, what if Pekka keeps his mouth shut? what are her best, best options, and they are in red. So they are either, either minus 1 or 0. So you underline the 0. What if Pekka talks? And once again, in red, they are minus 5 or minus 3. And minus 3 is better, so you underline minus 3. So in both cases, and independent of what Pekka does, Lisa's best option is to talk. And you get into the talk-talk uh, situation as the result of this. And once again, you see that uh, you end up with a result which is not the optimum. The optimum would be minus 1, minus 1. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the uh, second rule of strategy is known as if you have a dominant strategy, play it even though it might seem counterintuitive at the first glance. Uh, this position, minus 3, minus 3, where both underline it, uh, is known as the Nash equilibrium. Another way of, uh, one way of defining it is that both players are playing their dominant strategy or all players are playing their dominant strategy in this position. Uh, another way of defining it is that uh, if you move away, if a single player moves away from this, uh, you will end up in a worse position. 
So if Lisa has decided to talk, for example, and uh, Pekka moves away from talking to keeping his mouth shut, he will end up, he will, his position will go from three years in prison to five years in prison. Notice the black arrow and follow the minus three and minus five next to them. And uh, vice versa, Lisa, uh, if uh, Pekka is locked into talking and Lisa decides to move away from talking, she will be moving along the red arrow from minus three to minus five. Hence, from the uh, Nash equilibrium, you are uh, moving away from your best possible uh, position. Um, another way about of thinking about this is that uh, you remember that in uh, both cases from uh, Pekka's perspective, his, op his clear option was to talk. And in no case was it his uh, best option to keep his mouth shut. You can notice this also by the fact that uh, keeping his mouth shut was not underlined by the, uh, the, the black, if you like. And uh, hence, you can remove this option. Uh, also for Lisa, in no cases was uh, keeping mouth shut underlined, so in no cases was the keep mouth shut red underlined, and hence you can remove it. And when you remove these uh, dominated strategies, you will be left with the only option, which is a minus three, minus three. Thank you.